Yeah, I'm covered in that wax. Oh, thank you so much. This is awesome. Okay, so it is Monday, April 30th. Up here at the Saddle Junction, and that is the way to San Jacinto Peak. Um, because of weather coming in, we will we will be bypassing the summit and then going around the peak and down Fuller Ridge to Cabazon. Um, I had originally planned on taking an extra day to just hang out up here and and um, and summit the peak and then take my time getting down and everything, um, but. With, with snow coming in um, and my equipment, I'm really not equipped for, for snow, anything like that. So we're, we're out of here. So we're just gonna get around the mountain and down and out. So that's how it's looking right now. So you can kind of see through the trees there, um, kind of up in there. Um, that's looking towards the peak. Just gotta get up that way a little bit more, I think about 600 more feet, and then we start circumnavigating the mountain and uh, getting down Fuller Ridge. Oh, here comes another PCT hiker. Hello. Hello, happy hiker. Hello. This is what it's all about right here. We were starting out in a parking lot way down here below this huge rock. And you can almost see the trail kind of in the trees there. Um, climbed all the way up to a saddle like way over here. And then um, now crossing Mount San Jacinto and it's just amazing. You can't see anything because there's clouds. We're like way above the clouds and it's just covering all of, well, what I would call LA, um, which I know this is probably an insult to a lot of Orange Orange Countyans and Riverside Countyans, but um, it's, it's all LA. But anyway, um, yeah, it's beautiful. A little cold breeze and still trying to get moving before whatever this storm is. Um, hits I'm supposed to get here a little later today. So continuing on down this way. Well, just watered up at the North Fork of the San Jacinto River, which is basically just a little creek on the side of the mountain. We're at about 9,000 feet right now. We've like completely topped out on this mountain. Well, as far as the trails that we're doing, um, we're not going to do the summit because as you can see, this weather is going to be on top of us pretty soon. So just trying to get down at this point. It's all downhill from here. We've, um, well, I've done the last uphill of my trip. So at this point, it's about 20 or 25 miles straight downhill to Cabazon. So I'll keep you updated as I'm going down. That is cloud blowing across the trail. Literally on the edge of Fuller Ridge right now, and we have got the cloud coming straight over the ridge. So just a little update on things. Um, going down Fuller Ridge right now, you can see some desert city down here. I'm not sure what that is. Um, you can see, actually see the interstate, see cars. Driving on the interstate down there. Up over here are these mountains. This is up where Big Bear is. So the Pacific Crest Trail actually goes down out of this mountain range and then up into that mountain range. Um, I will be getting off before then though and um, staying right down there. That probably, it's not Cabazon, but I know there's a, there's a little uh, kind of town right where the trail, tiny little town. I'm not even sure if it has a name, but just a bunch of a bunch of little buildings and trailers um, right next to the interstate. It looks like it to me. So that's where I'll be tomorrow morning. Um, it's starting to get a little bit better as I go down in altitude, but I think I need to lose about another thousand feet here before, before camp time. So going to hit it. morning day 13 of my trip this is Mount San Jacinto you can see Fuller Ridge kind of up there just been hiking down this thing for what seems like forever um, just got a endless desert down here so headed down here somewhere down here it's supposed to be a water faucet 
and and from there about five miles to the interstate and I'm done so anyway super cold super windy last night we were busting ice off our tents um, when we got up actually rained a little bit and then froze on our tents um, we were all like probably about nine of us crammed into a little tent spot there that was about the size of maybe big enough for five tents um, but we may do but Anyway, as you can see, it's cold, and I'm just trying to get down and get warm. So I'll see you down at that water faucet soon. Well, this is it. Mile 200. Woo! As you can see, still a few more to go towards the end. But that's okay. You know what? 200 feels good. There's even a little 200 rock monument right here. Yeah. 200. Feeling good. I really feel better when I get a burger though. Just just being just being honest. hundred yards of my journey I was looking back at San Jacinto it's still covered in clouds and, and that ridge on the right it, well it's a cloud right now but that's actually a ridge that's where we were hiking yesterday not fun to be up there today It's so windy out here. I feel like I've been battling about a 50 mile per hour wind just getting this way towards the overpass. But this is it. I'm just hoping that there's some kind of a windbreak under this bridge because it is nasty out here. There were times where I was having pebbles and sand and stuff just getting picked up and basically thrown at me by the wind. It's kind of painful. It's also kind of hard to stay on trail because it was just blowing me sideways. But here we are. Looking pretty thin. 
But hey, I am done. Woohoo!